Margaret with Forward Kind Heart. Thank you for all your patience. I don't know about you, but 2017 ended with like just flipping me upside down and knocking me down. So uh, sorry about the clutter. I just moved and so I'm still setting up my office spare bedroom space and so it's still got some clutter and it's still got some stuff going on. So hopefully next week, there won't be all this and I will be fresh, but you get me like fresh out of dream state. So for those who are new, I'm Margaret with Forward Kind Heart. I am a dream analysis, a dream analysis, a dream interpreter. Um, I love using dreams to heal, to help facilitate change and to really gain that inner deeper soul wisdom connection to ancestors and guides and mentors and teachers our dreams just are so full of such rich and amazing information i also work with empaths and i love empowering empaths you have such a beautiful gift we are able to help transmute emotions and feelings and raise the vibration of the planet this is amazing so that's how I am and that's what I do so let's go ahead and set our intention and open up the space so you know our intention is just to connect to those deeper messages of our dreams and you're always welcome to join live and you know share your messages in the comments if that works or if that doesn't work feel free to message me and I'll bring your dream here and work on it and then you can watch the replay so those are the two ways that you can share your dreams and work with me and I love doing the live videos because that gives me and you a chance to interact and then you get to share your feelings about the dream content you know I think I've used the example of like a snake before so if you dream of a snake that might terrify you but for me that might be really empowering and really exciting so being able to share that and interact with that okay so we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna ring the little bell or the set the singing bowl and we'll go ahead and pull a card and for all those that follow velvet von black on instagram my apologies velvet has been in the middle of a move and hopefully her instagram will be buzzing and vibrant again here might as well just start today after I do the dream session. So the card we got is number 25. And this card means acceleration. Full speed ahead. Throw caution to the winds and move as quickly as you can. Make decisions, embrace change, trust your own judgment and judgment of your allies. Whenever you're being, whatever you've been procrastinating about is running out of time if you want it, if you want to do it well. Any more delays will only diminish the outcome. Timing is everything and timing is right. The light, you may encounter some obstacles, but you'll be able to deal with them swiftly. Dark, someone may try to trip you up. Call ahead to clear the path. All right, so we can see how acceleration plays into our dreams. And the crystal I brought today is green calcite. And normally this is a orangish kind of color stone. Um, I don't really remember what it is um, about, so I can always post that later with a picture since um, it just kind of spoke to me as I was running around trying to prepare for this uh, this morning. So thank you for your patience and me being offline and then being back online. So let's jump into dreams and what our dreams are trying to tell us. Um, so I've been working on the idea of how we can use our dreams to help us facilitate our waking dreams, those goals, those things that we desire, those things we want to manifest into being. So how do we use our dreams to create that? Well, one simple technique that you can start to do before you go to bed each night is to start to ask, you know, how do I, how do I achieve this goal? 
this dream, this desire that I have. And let your dreams start to answer that and then work with the dream symbolism for the guidance. That's like a really easy way. Another way that people will use their dreams to help facilitate their healing and growth is really to check in with the dreams and look at the symbolism to see where they need to go next. Where is the dream guiding them? Where is the dream showing them that they need attention? What needs to be brought to fruition? Maybe somebody talks to you in a dream about something. Maybe there's some really rich symbolism in your dream that you realize is really giving you a message. So paying attention to those because um, it is the new year and lots of people really like to set, you know, those intentions and those goals. And the beginning of the year is always when we really start to, you know, map out our next year. And this is when like the energy, like we're ready, we're going to go, we're going to conquer our to-do lists. And so it's starting now and then being able to pull that energy through as you're working on your dream content or with your dream content. So those are um, a couple ways and I'd love your feedback to hear how that works for you. You know, going to sleep and another thing that you can really do is to use your active imagination. So as you're laying down before sleep, when you wake up in the morning, it really, during your meditation time, whenever, while you're driving to work, driving home from work, take that time to really visualize what it is that you want, where it is you want to be, what it is that you want to have, the desires that you wish to manifest, and then really feel that in your whole body. You know, what does it feel like when I have this? What is it going to look like? How is it going to feel? Really embodying that. And one thing we kind of miss when we start to work on manifestation of our waking dreams is that, you know, I feel some of us are really kind of misled that if you just visualize it, if you just do this, then you're going to, it's just going to manifest. Well, there's more to that. There's two things that we often miss in trying to manifest our desires. The first thing we miss is making action steps, creating doable things that we can do to make our dreams come true. So for example, I really want to go to Great Britain. That's where my ancestors are from. So I really want to go there. So how do I make that happen? Well, I'm going to have to start saving. I might have to pay off some bills and start to make that a doable action plan. Another thing we miss when we are working on manifesting our dreams is working on those underlining stories and beliefs that um, a lot of the stuff that feeds our shadow and our shadow is wonderful about coming out in our dreams. So you can really work with that dream, the shadow in your dream content. But anyways, a lot of times we don't manifest what we want because we get caught up in these beliefs, these stories that we've created from a child, things like I don't deserve, I'm not worthy, it wasn't meant for me, I can never have. And so we really have to work with a therapist, a coach in your journal, what a friend to really start to tap into those stories that were created, who knows when, that now feed a belief that is stopping you from manifesting your desires. And these can manifest in your dreams. That's the great thing. So as I'm talking about like your waking dreams and creating what you want to manifest, our dreams are showing us this. Our dreams are creating this for us. So if, you know, you're like, I have no idea what underlining belief or story is stopping me from having my dream job, my dream career, from traveling, you know, start to ask your dreams and then pay attention to what is starting to come forward. You know, in your dreams, are you always being yelled at? Do you always feel less than in your dreams? Are you always trying to grasp something that you can never quite get? Are there dreams where you feel like there's this eminent danger, but you don't know what it is? These dreams are trying to point you at these beliefs that you have created 
that you are not worthy, that you're not good enough. For example, I know I talk a lot about various dreams I've had. So um, outside of being a coach and a therapist, I also have a job. And for a while, I think I talked about, I would wake up in the middle of the night thinking that I was at work, feverishly looking for my phone, looking for headphones because I work at a call center, um, and then just panicked and then being like, I'm not at work. So these dreams, since I have moved, have changed to where I can see myself, I've got my headset on, I'm walking around, I'm talking, I'm doing my job, and all of a sudden I can't find a computer. So at this job, we document everything. So as we're on the phone, you know, we're typing, and now I don't, I can't find a computer. And everybody I go to that has a laptop is telling me, no, sorry, can't help you. Nope, this one's mine. And I even come across a lady and I'm like, oh, that's my laptop. Can I get it back? And she's like, no, sorry, you left it. It's mine now. You know, I'm like, I really need to get my work done, please. You left it. You lose. So if we look at that, you know, I talk about how dreams are multi-layered. You know, so not only is this my subconscious and conscious mind working out, you know, my day at work, it's also this, you're not good enough at your job. You're so not good enough at your job that you can't even do it right. You lost a computer. And then if you dig deeper, we can get to that. Well, you weren't, you are a loser. You are not worthy. You don't deserve a computer. And so we can take our dreams and get to those underlining nuggets that show us these beliefs so then we can start to be like okay how do I work with this and so you can you know if you want to I love using active imagination so taking a dream and then sitting in your meditative space playing some great music and going back to that dream and it can feel awkward for some people at first but you're gonna go back to your dream and you're gonna rework it. So I could go back to my dream. And I could, and you know, if I was working with somebody with this dream, I'd say, okay, go back. Okay, there's this lady. She's telling you you can't have the computer. You left it, you're out of luck. Okay, you're gonna tell her, no, that's my computer. You took it from me. I need it back. And you're going to work through this. And so then you're recreate, you're retelling the story. So then it's empowering the dreamer in an active imagination state. An active imagination is when we're engaging our imagination while we're waking. So while we're awake. So then you're, you know, you know, I'm going back and I'm telling this lady, no, that's my computer. I need it for my job. And you're going to give it back to me. And then working through maybe if this was your dream, maybe the lady tells you no, maybe she starts fighting with you and continuing it to be like, no, this is my computer because you're refinding your voice. You're refinding your power. You are standing up and you're rewriting the subconscious so that in the future, you know, it won't be this rub like this. No, uh, -uh. you know, you're able to find your voice, your power and start to heal these stories, these beliefs that often run below the surface. You know, I talk with my clients, the people I work with, about how a lot of times our decisions are based on these stories, on these beliefs that run below the surface. And in our dreams, it's a wonderful place that they come out. And oftentimes we miss it because our dreams are just so abstract. We don't know what to do with the content. Or, you know, given my dream example, it might be, well, you know, Margaret, it was just a dream about work. Yeah, it was a dream about work that reflected shadow, undercurrent beliefs, stories. You know, so the shadow there too is um, that not being able to, you know, being upset, being angry. You know, shadow is really that I'm judging you, I'm feeling judged, I'm angry. You know, so looking at that, I mean, like, okay. And the fact that the lady would not look at me, I couldn't see her face. Remember, shadow is, it's in our face, but it's also elusive. So it's kind of, you know, kind of like my black cat sitting back here. You can kind of see him, but he's not looking at you. So, like, I know there's a cat there, but, you know, that's how shadow is. It's, 
well, there was this person, but I couldn't see them. Or one way shadow will manifest, people will say, well, I knew there was somebody there, but I couldn't see them and they wouldn't speak to me. That's shadow. And then being like, okay, so what was that shadow representing? So again, see the multi layers of dreams. I mean, it's beautiful. It's so fun to kind of just peel them back layer by layer. And so it's the new year. So getting maybe a new dream journal or going back to your dream journal. Cause I don't know if you're like me and I'll start at things and I'll be so excited. And then throughout the year, I lose my enthusiasm. My dream journal, a tit or miss, I write in it, you know, be honest with you, not as much as some people. Um, I do though, each morning when I wake up, sit, you know, if I wake up and I'm like, ooh, that was a good dream, I might write about it. Or I do what, you know, we've talked about that quick hit. Oh, okay, what's this quick hit? Take that and then slowly throughout the day, digest the dream. You're gonna get the most out of your dreams when you write them every day, because then you can go back and you can see the themes and you can see, you know, what's really trying to, what messages are coming at you and where you're getting caught in cycles. Okay, so, I know I just threw a whole bunch at you for our first dream session of 2018. Yay. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited to see where this goes this year. And again, thank you so much for your patience as the time and the date and just so many things came out. I know I had to cancel a couple times because I didn't have internet. So thank you for your patience. I really appreciate you. So again, the ways to participate is to watch the live video, type in your comments. I love engaging that way or message me or, you know, let me know what those dreams are. And if you're interested and you haven't already, sign up for my three day amazing dream journey. It's, you know, it's something to help start you in really creating this juicy, wonderful, nurturing relationship with your dreams. And when you join that, sign up for that. You also get access to my sacred dream circle or group on Facebook where you can post your dreams and other people can, you know, share what they think. There's so many amazing people in that group, you know, people that are active dreamers, therapists, healers. It's just an amazing place to be to share your dreams, to get that insight and input. So thank you for watching. I know it was a little quick today. I feel like I threw a lot at you. So send me your dreams, sign up for the e-course, and sweet dreams. I'll see you next week. Bye.